What up, good people? This is Uncle P from Super Easy Forex, and I'm doing this particular video because I'm just wrapped up that uh, Sunday's class, but I wanted to kind of show you guys the report that we had discussed over there. And again, this is just a recap of what happened last week in the markets, and I told you guys, uh, start learning to incorporate fundamentals into your trading. Here's the reason why. Uh, as you can see, our results was 10 wins, 5 losses, 3 break-evens, and 1 that we're holding over the weekend, uh, which would be the Euro USD. I don't see that on the list, but it should be there. Uh, oh, it's right here. Okay, we have one hold. But let me kind of go over the results. As I talked about, the, out of the 5 that we took a hit on, actually, it was only one currency pair that caused that damage. We took two trades early on in the week on the GBP, right here, you can see that, and we took a loss, which is fine. You know, because of news events, interest rate news came out. However, what we typically do is follow that pair until it hurt, hit certain points and levels and things that we've used to do our analysis. And then we get right back in those trades and recoup our losses and do what's called a re-entry, which we talked about on last week's video. And then we make our losses back plus with profit. This week, that didn't happen because of fundamentals. Most of the big time investors got duped by the government saying that they were going to raise interest rates on their investment money and it didn't happen. And as a result of that, the GDP continued to drop well past normal levels. And that's the reason why we took two more hits, as you can see right here on the Euro GBP and the GBP AUD. So that's the total four of the five losses. If it wasn't for over exaggeration of movement uh, due to big time investors to the interest rate news, we would only had one loss for the week, which would have been on the Euro AUD. So this is the reason why it's important to incorporate fundamentals into your trading so that if you do take a loss, you'll know why, okay? So other than the GBP, we really had a beautiful week. Now let's go to the three here that we talked about that we took a, uh, uh, at break even. As I said in the last video, literally they weren't really break evens. What happened was they came within two to three pips of our take profit and I wasn't woke uh, and my team wasn't woke at the time because this happened during London, we were in the US. So it's, we weren't woke during that time when it came within a couple of pips of our take profit before it retreated back to our break even level. So we just closed it out at break even, even though those all three of those would have been winners as well. So we would have been, if without the GBP, um, you know, we would have been 13 and one because of those break evens. But again, it happens in the market. So this is why I did that video for you guys explaining if you ever are woke and you see that your the, the your TP, your take profit is almost about to get hit, but the price action is stalling out, hovering over it, close the trade out. So that's what happened with those three, okay? So other than that, we had an actual beautiful week, even though it was high news events. Even though we had over 16 big news events, we still did all right, in my opinion, and uh, we'll see how this week goes. Okay, the lovely people. So anyway, just want to give you that report as I stated I would, and enjoy your weekend. Have a great trading week coming up.